National Combat Aircraft MMU, will exit the hangar on March 18, 2023. General Manager of Turkish Aerospace Industry TUSIS Professor Dr. Temel Kodil, Turkey's eagerly awaited National Combat Aircraft two years after the hangar will come out, he said. Turkish Aerospace Industry TUSIS General Manager Professor Dr. Temel Kodil, told Turkey's National Combat Aircraft waiting impatiently after two years will emerge from the hangar. Turkish Aerospace Industry TUSIS General Manager Professor Dr. Temel Kodil made important statements will leave the hangar in 2023. Explaining that they are planning to take the National Fighter aircraft out of the hangar on March 18, 2023, Kodil noted that they will make the delivery in 2025 and the certification work will take three years. Professor Dr. Kodil gave the date 2029 for the National Combat Aircraft to commence duty. When the project is completed, which produces Turkey's fifth-generation fighter aircraft, this technology has the infrastructure and would draw attention to the fourth country. Professor Dr. Temel Kodil said, when this plane is finished, we will have 6,000 engineers with experience in designing a warplane in our country. We have foreign engineers though, but they are few in number. These engineers will form the infrastructure for our future projects. Professor Dr. Kodil, the National Combat Aircraft Project drew attention to Turkey to make a leap in terms of technology, manufacturing, design, mechanical testing, including 13 sector will be world class, he predicts. ATAK-2 will be completely domestic and national. Professor Dr. Kodil noted that the Adhoc-2 helicopter will be completely domestic and national, unlike the first Adhoc helicopter, and that they will produce the most advanced helicopter after the Americans and the Russians. Noting that the gearbox, gun, and engine of the ad hoc attack, tactical reconnaissance helicopter in the inventory of the TAF came from Italy, Kodil stated that the ad hoc 2 will be completely domestic, including the gearbox and engine, and that the Americans will surpass Apache helicopters by weight. Kodil, the Americans' helicopter on this issue is Apache. It is approximately 8 to 8.5 tons. Our helicopter is 12 tons. Heavier than. Ammunition above this, explosives 1,200 kilograms. Around 300 kilograms in today's ad hoc. So he will be a big brother. Said. Stating that ad hoc 2 is considered for the naval forces and aircraft carriers, Kodil gave the information we are also doing it for the land forces and gendarmerie. Temel Kodil also gave a date for ad hoc 2. Accordingly, the ad hoc 2 heavy attack helicopter is planned to make its first flight in 2023 and to be delivered in 2025. Professor Dr. Temel Kodil drew attention to the fact that thousands of engineers were working on this project as well. Gok B is the first in its class. Professor Kodil emphasized that the general purpose helicopter they are developing, Gok B, will be the first in its class. Kodil said that the helicopter, which will have a capacity of 12 people, can be used as an ambulance helicopter and carrying soldiers behind the front, is expected to be one of the most popular helicopters in the international market, and that certification flights are currently being made. Kodil stated that they tried all possibilities in the air during these certification flights, if necessary, they disassemble and rebuild them on the ground, so the process is long and may take two years. Tamil Kodil also said that they plan to produce Gokbi two pieces per month, 24 pieces per year. Mass production started in Aksungur. Kodil announced that Aksungur, the successor of Enka, started mass production, we are also mass producing our Anka 2, which can carry more loads and stay in the air more. Anka 2 stayed in the air for 48 hours. Therefore, to be controlled from a remote location, from any point in Turkey's control center can come and go in all directions. Today they do not take a world tour, but I hope we will have UAVs touring the world soon. He spoke in the form. We are establishing the world's fourth composite factory. Reminding that they produce parts for world giants such as Airbus and Boeing, Kodil stated that they both produce value and learn the manufacturing technology at the same time. 
Underlining that Thai is not only a part manufacturer but also a solution partner, Kodil reminded that they developed thermoplastics, and that a new generation factory with the fourth largest indoor area in the world was established to produce only composites. Kodil also underlined that they provide $250 million net input to the Turkish economy by producing parts for large aircraft companies, he noted that they aim to increase this amount to $2 billion. We are preparing for the canical victory of 2023. Kodil stated that the state gained a great advantage by giving Thai many projects at the same time. Herkus Propeller Trainer Aircraft, Her Jet Jet Training Aircraft and National Combat Aircraft. When you put these three side by side, the propeller, jet training, and fighter aircraft seem to come from the same factory and the same culture. When you integrate them together, you establish the best system in the world. TESA's board member and general manager Professor Dr. Tamil Kodil stated that they are working hard for the canical victory, which will be celebrated on March 18, 2023. Kodil said. Our Herkus is flying right now. Our Herjet will fly on March 18, 2023. On the 2023 anniversary of the canical victory. MMU will leave the hangar on March 18, 2023 by starting the engine. Atok 2 will also fly for the first time on March 18, 2023. Thai's 2028 target is top 10. Tamil Kodil also announced the 2028 targets of Thai, where he has been working for four years. The world does not know about you after you do not enter the top 10. If you enter the top 10, you will be at every table at every opportunity, said Kodil, and listed the slats they put in front of them as follows. To be among the top 10 defense companies. Increasing the number of engineers from 3,500 to 10,000. $10 billion turnover. To capture 2% of the world defense market. Thai was ranked 53rd among the top 100 defense companies of Defense News, jumping 16 steps this year.